Hi, welcome to Robot Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today, we're gonna to talk about a follow-up on my keto diet. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have noticed over the last few months, I have been posting pictures of donuts and french fries. Why? Because I like eating donuts and french fries when I ride. In the month of January, I started the keto diet. And in that month, I ate less than 20 grams of carbohydrates per day. I drank no alcohol and I became fat adapted. I really liked the keto diet. I thought it worked really well and it worked really fast. I made a video about it and I'll put that link down below. When February came, I introduced two cheat days and 16-8 fasting, which I really like fasting and I still do it today. But on the days I rode, I felt very sluggish in February, March, and April. So I started researching what I should do to not feel so sluggish. And what I found out is if you wanna be a fat adapted keto cyclist where you burn fat instead of carbohydrates, you can never cheat if you want to be a fat adapted keto endurance athlete. And I just, I wanna cheat. I wanna eat fun food. I got a six year old, he likes pizza. I like eating pizza. I have my cheat days. Keto did not work. Then came May 1st. On May 1st, I flew to Spain and I rode all around Girona with my friends. I've made some videos about that and I hope you enjoyed them. While in Spain, I enjoyed potato bravas and the amazing breads of Spain. Amazing wine that was very inexpensive. The beer was eh. So when I returned to the United States, I had to figure out a new eating pattern that would facilitate better performance on my bike, and a lifestyle that I can follow. So upon research, I discovered low glycemic index eating, and I love low glycemic index eating. I pair that with a lot of things I learned from keto. One of the best things I learned from keto is to take out a grain and add another vegetable. Eat a lot of olive oil, a lot of avocados, a lot of nuts. I love this way of eating and when I'm at work, I tend to eat a very keto diet with 16 hours of fasting, eight hour feed time, and I do not get groggy when I'm at work. No more head bobbing. I love this aspect of it. But when I am going to be living my life, I need to eat carbohydrates. I need to have cheat days. So we started eating low glycemic, grains and other foods, and it has worked out amazing. So what is the glycemic index? So anything under 55 is considered low glycemic. Black rice is 47, boiled sweet potatoes are 46, and brown rice is 54. These are all considered low glycemic index foods, and they work really well for carb loading the night before a ride. The morning of a ride, I eat a two egg cheese omelet with avocado, sour cream, and salsa every single time I go for a ride. But after 20 miles, I meet my friends and we eat a donut or a muffin or a croissant because I am cheating. I'm on a bike ride and this is just how I wanna burn energy. The low glycemic diet has for me created more power more endurance and a happier life than I had before keto or during keto. Before keto, I ate whatever I wanted. I carb loaded with pasta, which is absolutely the wrong thing to do. But now with black rice, fish, and a vegetable the night before a ride, that next day I am on fire with energy. I'm on fire with endurance and I am blazing with the energy I need to perform the task at hand. For me and my lifestyle with my family and just the way I live my everyday low glycemic index diet with keto-ish things are really working for me. It is actually the best diet I've ever come across. It is no longer a diet, it is a lifestyle until Thanksgiving and then it'll become more of a diet, I think, because I'm gonna eat a lot of carbs during Thanksgiving and Christmas. I always do. Well, I think that just about covers it. My keto-ish diet and low glycemic index has turned me into a better cyclist. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and until the next time, I hope to see you out there on the road.